The Best of Get Involved by Tom Baker, read by the author. Build memories, build tradition, build pride. You might be thinking to yourself that this chapter sounds like a cheesy student council campaign slogan. If so, you are absolutely correct. Build memories, build tradition, build pride was our campaign theme when I ran with four of my friends for student government executive board at Millersville University back in 1999. Speaking of cheesy, our campaign team was called the Fab Five, largely due to me being a big Michigan basketball fan in the early 1990s. Michigan's Fab Five, which consisted of Chris Weber, Jawan Howard, Jalen Rose, Ray Jackson, and Jimmy King, are a legendary group of teammates who transcended college basketball in the early 1990s. They participated in the national championship in consecutive years and made a splash by wearing baggy shorts and changing the way basketball was played. The amazing thing about the Fab Five was that all five of them were starters as freshmen when they advanced during the March Madness tournament in 1992. I was a big fan of the Fab Five and thought it would be a neat name for the group of five sophomores that I had assembled to run together for the five officer positions at Millersville. Like Michigan's Fab Five, we ended up doing well and went on to make a big difference on Millersville's campus. Assembling a great team to work with you when you are considering running for president or chair of any group is vital if you want to get elected, and more importantly, lead effectively. I enjoyed two great years as student body president because of the Fab Five. Whether it is the people working most closely to you or less involved members of a group, I think it holds true that people generally want to be inspired. People don't elect you or choose you to serve in a role because they want you to be negative. They want you to succeed while increasing the enthusiasm and morale of the organization. The Fab Five started a full day of activities and events called MU Pride Day and a series of discussions focused on bringing people together called the Dialogue on Race. When I was president of our graduate student organization, the Associates for Student Development, we created a student-run journal called the Sahi Review and developed a leadership and professional development library. Special projects and initiatives were always something that I enjoyed doing in college and graduate school and still do in my professional and civic life today. If you like starting new programs or have ideas in your mind, be sure to share them with others and help lead your group in getting them implemented. For groups to prosper, it takes a good deal of work. As you move forward, I would encourage you to be the person who brings people together, organizes social get-togethers, or even takes pictures at events. My wife thinks that I am a pack rat, but I honestly enjoy keeping a record of what happens by capturing photos and keeping items. Your peers will appreciate these habits in you, in part because they may not want to do it themselves. Some people are too shy to plan a group outing or not outgoing enough to ask someone to take a picture of your group. I know these things seem basic, but they are often overlooked. Make a point to do the little things to increase the memories that are created, the traditions that are organized, and the pride that is felt within your group.